Well, as we all know, the X-Men Fantastic Four are all under one roof, and that is Disney. And we just got an update about the X-Men joining the MCU. So what I'm going to do is read a few quotes and pretty much give you my thoughts on the matter right after this intro. Enjoy, guys. Hey everyone, welcome to News to Astonish, where we discuss comics, movies, games, and more. And today I bring you news regarding the X-Men joining the MCU. Today I found an article titled Avengers and the X-Men, Lauren Schuler Donner, happy to work with Feige. And if you don't know who Lauren Schuler Donner is, well, she's well known for being the wife of the famous Richard Donner, who produced and directed the original Superman movies, starring Christopher Reeve. So it was less than a month ago that the Disney Fox deal came to fruition and pretty much made every single fan of Marvel Comics extremely happy. It's official that the X-Men and the Fantastic Four are, are under one roof, which is Disney, and now the X-Men can coincide with the Avengers, and so can the Fantastic Four. So for a wide spectrum of fandom, the only thing that people care about is whether they'll get to see, you know, their favorite Marvel heroes finally share the screen together. Now that Marvel Studios, which is responsible for like the Avengers, Iron Man and Spider-Man and such, uh, and the Guardians of the Galaxy series, films, and the 20th Century Fox who control the X-Men and Fantastic Four will likely be linked. Now during the television critics association event that was happening on rotten tomatoes the x-men franchise producer gatekeeper lauren schuler donner spoke about combining the x-men and the avengers brands on screen once the sale of the 21st century fox to the walt disney company is completed in up to 18 months and like everything else purchases really are a process it's just not that simple yes disney succeeded in buying out fox but there's just so much that goes into account. Right now, Fox has a lot of movies planned and slated for the future. We had the new Mutants movies coming out. We have Deadpool 2 coming out. We even have a future X-Men Dark Phoenix movie coming out as well. And along with other like projects that they're, they're coming out with. Right now, it remains unclear as to whether future projects will be canceled, like the potential sequels to the new Mutants movie. I personally am not excited for the new Mutants movie, but we'll see from there i mean if you see the trailer it looks like it's a horror film so this will be at least the first comic book horror film which is very strange to me because these new mutants exist in the x-men universe but we'll see from there we have a quote from lauren schuler donner giving a statement about working with kevin feige and here's what she said sure why not said schuler donner look it's 18 months away so who knows for me I think Bob Iger is one of the smartest men in the country. Alan Horn's an old friend. Kevin Feige was my intern and assistant, and then my associate producer on the first X-Men movie. Kevin and I started the X-Men together, so for me, if we work together with Kevin, I'm happy. And that is very good news. I think that these two are going to be able to pull off the greatest X-Men and Avengers films. And then we have also have some more concerns regarding the uh, X-Men and how they're established in a universe. Not just the Marvel comics, but in film. Because if you all know, and if you've seen the X-Men movies and read X-Men comics, the X-Men uh, are portrayed as living in a world filled with prejudice against mutants, who are more or less just superheroes, as the same as the Avenger members. The Avengers are superheroes who are more or less embraced by the public. So how are they going to take the tonal incongruity of the X-Men and Avengers world and put them together in the same continuity. That's something that needs to be addressed. And that's something that Kevin Feige and the rest of the team who work at Marvel Studios need to figure out. Certainly it won't be an easy feat, but I'm pretty sure it would be quite difficult to reconcile that tone without starting over completely from scratch. Yet another issue is a contractual one in that many of the actors playing the most iconic Avengers, Iron Man, Thor, and Captain America, and all the other members that have been established for the past 10 years will be ending their run and contracts in the MCU, either through ending their contracts or dying on screen or possibly both. So Marvel Studios will either have to have rebooted X-Men on screen with less popular Avengers, kind of like uh, Vision, 
Hawkeye, Ant-Man, and such others, and me maybe even Captain Marvel. And they might have to recast existing Avengers like Thor and Iron Man and Captain America. And just recently, Chris Hemsworth actually re-signed and renegotiated for his contract because he still wants to play Thor. And there's talk about another potential fourth Thor film because the third one was extremely successful, was extremely praised, and was a huge financial success. It was just amazing. Now, whether the recasting and rebooting of existing Avengers uh, films uh, or Avenger member films like you know Captain America and uh, Thor and, and, and Iron Man happens, it may or may not satisfy fickled fans. While Fox's fr X-Men franchise has always maintained a certain level of financial and even critical success throughout the years, the studio famously rushed 2015's disastrous Fantastic Four. And the studio did the same thing for 2005's Fantastic Four and 2007's Fantastic Four Rise of the Silver Surfer. Those movies are just atrocious and they're just horrendous. I mean, they're not even that great. And for the reason of 2015's Fantastic Four was put out so quickly was just to keep Marvel Studios from taking back control of that property. Now, they may face a similar dilemma with Legion creator Noah Hawley's proposed Doctor Doom film because I, I really, truthfully, I don't see the point of a Doctor Doom film. I think Doctor Doom does well with other characters or as an antagonist. I don't feel the need of having a Doctor Doom film, yet his backstory is very interesting and compelling. It still doesn't justify there being a solo Doctor Doom film, which can also get caught in the crossfire of Fox wanting to make a movie and Marvel's own plans for the character. And we still have all this time, like about 18 months, before Disney has full control of the Fox property and that is X-Men and Fantastic Four. And we have a quote from Noah Hawley, who is right now the creator of Legion. Noah Hawley said, I haven't had a phone call, and I'm just operating under the assumption that it's business as usual, Hawley said. Obviously, the merger, should it go through, will take a year at least. Certainly, no one's reached out to me from Marvel or Fox to say, well, you know, maybe we should take a beat or maybe we should rush. I'm working on the script, and we'll see what the landscape is when I deliver it. It's coming. I'm almost done with the last Legion script. And then Doctor Doom is my first responsibility. I personally don't want this Doctor Doom film to happen. I am not really excited for it. I just don't find it necessary. I really don't like spin-off films that are just completely like unnecessary. I swear, like we don't need a film about Doctor Doom. And just, I felt the same way about Venom. We don't need a film about Venom. I mean, if it turns out good, then more power to Sony. But if it doesn't, case in point, I proved my point. So back to the main topic that I was talking about. While Marvel Studios already has had a pretty detailed plan for the films they want to make over like the next 18 months, Fox is in a particular bind that they may have several Marvel properties in development. That's including the solo Gambit film starring Channing Tatum. And that's right now getting ready for production. And then there's the X-Force film that's featuring Ryan Reynolds to star in as Deadpool. And then there's Josh Brolin's Cable. Then there's the Deadpool 3 movie, and then the Multiple Man film with James Franco, which is really interesting. I want to see a James Franco in another Marvel film. Maybe in a Marvel Studios film. I actually would like to see him in that, because he was he was famously well-known as Harry Osborn in the Spider-Man films. And the, that was like the early days of like James Franco acting. And then there's also the New Mutants. They're bound to get a sequel if the first New Mutants movie does really well. I don't really want a New Mutants sequel or a part 3. Um, I really just want the X-Men and the Fantastic Four to join the MCU as fast as possible. I know they got to take their time and I know they got to plan this out. And it's going to happen. Trust me, guys. It's going to happen. So let me know what your thoughts are on the matter of the X-Men and the MCU deal going on right now. And tell me, if the MCU were to come out with an X-Men film, what storylines would you like to see transcribed on the big screen? I'm really curious to know what your thoughts are on this. And remember guys, I still have my Infinity War giveaway going on. So far the giveaway is a $20 Fandango gift card and an original copy of the 1992 Infinity War comic book storyline. I will announce what the rest of the prizes are a month prior to the movie's release and I will select the winner a week prior to the film's release. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe for more, comment down below, like this video, and I will see you all in the next comic panel.